Hey guys, so in this video we'll walk you through the process of how to manage uh, your widgets. So essentially let's take a quick look at the widget area here and I've installed a flow blocks uh, post widget into our uh, full uh, with content area here and as you'll see here it's displayed on my home page. If you go on over to my contact page you will see that it's also displayed here. Uh, then if you go over to the sample page, you will also see that it is displayed here. So the following widget is displayed on absolutely every single page of my website. So if this is something that you do not want to have, uh, there are ways that you can control this. And um, the first option is, first of all, you'll need to install a plugin. And it's called a JP um, Widget Visibility Plugin. This one over here and uh, the download, the link to this plugin is in the video description below so you can download it. But essentially once you download it and install the following plugin, you'll have the following button over here where it says visibility. And once you click here, you're able to determine whether you want to show or hide the following widget if it is located on a specific page. So for example, I want to show it only on my uh, front page, so I'll click on show if the following widget is located on my page and I will then need to specify the page that it is located on. So it'll be front page. I'll then click on save and I'll go back to my home page. I'll refresh this and as you'll see my widget is still here but if I go over to my contact page you'll see that I don't have my widget here and the same thing applies to my sample page as well. Alright, if you want to uh, display the following widget on every single page but one page, then you can do the same thing. Uh, simply select hide and over here we'll select sample page. Okay, and let's click on save. We'll then go back to our sample page and here we have um, just a blank page. There's, there's no widget here but if we go on over to our contact page we'll have the same widget and every other page within this menu will have the following widget. So that's one way how you can control widgets. Um, however, this does have some limitations and it may take you, if you're using a lot of widgets, uh, it may take you a long time to customize all of these all of these areas. So what we recommend to do is if you want to use a particular set of widgets on a very specific page, we recommend that you create a widget area for that page specifically. Uh, similar to, to what I've done here with my sample page widget area. So let's head on over to uh, this flow theme area and here we have the sidebars. Okay, so within the sidebars essentially, um, they're called sidebars but technically they're widget areas. Um, so let's just go ahead and click on add sidebar and we'll add our sidebar title. So let's call this uh, just sample page. Sample page two. There we go. And we'll click on add, si not, I'm sorry, not add sidebar, but uh, save changes. Okay, so we've saved my changes and we'll then refresh our widget page. And you'll see here that we have uh, sample page two, which is the widget area that we've added. So now what we can do is simply drag widgets into this particular area. And um, let's just go ahead and take some widgets from my test widget area and I'll just drag them into this area here. Just like that. Alright, so now that we've added them, let's close this up here. And what we'll need to do is head on over to my pages area and we will locate the sample page. Uh, just right over here and we'll need what we'll need to do is specify a specific widget area to uh, be within my sample page so here I have the option of enabling a widget located below the page content so we'll need to click on yes and over here select the widget that you want to use and here I have sample page 2 once I've selected that I'll click on update we will then go over to the website and we'll click on sample page And once we scroll down the following page, here we have all of these widgets within this page specifically. If we head on over back to, let's just say, my contact page, you'll see that this only has its own set of widgets and sample page has a specific set of widgets related to it. So 
um, yeah, the, the, there are a lot of ways how you can customize the website using widget areas only. And uh, we hope this video helps you uh, to manage your widgets properly.